what's up everybody welcome to the channel we're continuing our adventure from where we left off in episode one we brought this guy with us he's gonna give us some money we're gonna give uh, this lady a little bread it will give us 10 influence and later on when we finish this scenario she will actually open up a shop and we'll sell you food for cheap so our plan was to go east before that we have to camp I'm gonna try and craft everything once like in the previous episode to get that knowledge then we gotta rest make sure you use your pancake for the extra fatigue stacks our guys are a little bit unhappy we're gonna start giving them alcohol a little bit soon and we're off to go we gotta make sure we collect uh, the resources uh, along the way especially the iron little camps and bodies like that on the road can uh, give you also money and resources they drop cloth that we need a lot right now not these ones in particular so we wanted to get here to the guard outpost where we take a quest from the captain and camps like this will have the woodcutting interactable thing you just have to click on it make sure you take all the wood you see cut the wood for the profession gain and also because it's very very needed for crafting weapons and upgrading the camp so off we go to the cave i'm gonna try and pick lock this we only have one lock pick the idea here is don't press too hard just tap it and if you're hearing sounds then you're not succeeding when it's silent you're gonna be able to do it you see there's no sound there you go very good very good we didn't break our only lock pick this chest is really nice some money and uh iron now the map here is a little bit bad for us it's random we're gonna try and take out the leader because it's giving them 60 percent crit chance or 40 percent or something we miscalculated a little bit here we gotta hit hard another miscalculation on my part this dagger hits uh, aoe so both of our characters get hit so watch out for this we're very under geared so everything is deadly to us we're gonna try and finish off the leader and at least now they don't have the buff we already took a lot of damage and here we're in a dicey situation try to kill this guy but unfortunately we needed a crit it's a pretty dire situation so what we have to do is disengage here so we can finish off that enemy we're gonna take a big chance here don't take big chances like me just kill them i'll try and get him as prisoner if i fail it's probably gonna lose my character i was lucky enough 69 percent was enough so this guy is in a pretty bad shape the axeman guy so what we'll do here is we're just gonna move because he's gonna get hit by the other rogue in the meantime we gotta deal with this archer so we got hit but we baited the enemy into the stone fall and we can finish this guy off but we're gonna try and take him as prisoner and there he goes we're dying but we have one valor point saved so we can revive the guy we had no other choice but to do this otherwise we would have lost the character for sure so what we want to do here is uh, just heal up the guy he's not gonna die until he takes turn and now he's safe we take another prisoner our character got the uh, tyrannical trait that's plus two willpower if we have prisoners and now we're galvanized so unfortunately our spearman does too much damage we couldn't get a third prisoner but two prisoners is nice we took a little bit of damage we're under geared so it's normal we got a light armor as reward so, and 100 gold from the scenario quest now we pick up the golden key and go unlock the chest for our reward 
unfortunately we got a really trashy reward it's random here you can get weapon you can get belt accessories but we got the trashiest on now we want to like go to prison and sell out our prisoners and this is our bounty that we took earlier so we want to get rid of the prisoners before they need to eat so we're going straight to the prison this is the sepulchre door that you need the codex for from the tomb of Asians. it's one of the new things from 1.0 and here we go as we're getting rid of the prisoners our suspicion level is dropping as well i think 20 per prisoner i'm gonna take a chance here to level up our character we're going for the fighter so we can have heavy armor tank maybe getting movement but we rather get strength to help out the damage in the early levels and for our warrior we're gonna go berserker it's very good for the early stages of the game and same for him we're gonna get the double strength now i kind of don't want to go back to town and then run all the way to this bounty so we're gonna go ahead and uh, repair here we've saved up some mats so far we have more than we started with Although we have only two medicines so and three injured guys, so we have to decide which one is less bad than the others, right? So this is pretty bad. Speed debuff, we're gonna heal that. Damage taken double, that's pretty bad as well. This unit cannot deal clerical hits. I mean, we don't really have a lot of critical, so that one is the least bad injury. And here, I want to show you, like, if you catch them in the woods from behind, you get the ambush buff, which is basically you do damage and more damage. If you see the cone, they're ambushable. So we are kind of waiting for them to get back in the woods. There you go. They're really careful, these guys. Look at them. And we got the ambush. So it's, the battle was kind of normal nothing special we took damage because we're under geared but that's fine because we're going back to town to repair and finally craft some gear so we got a nice uh, little dagger here two star i mean it's not the best dagger but it's better than what we have so we need to sleep place your prisoner next to your guys so they don't escape while sleeping and we just used all of our food so <laughs> we absolutely need to get back to town but that's our plan anyway we're just gonna quickly drop off our prisoner so as you can see our suspicion level is now only 14 the guards are not interested in us anymore and that's how you basically do it you steal something then turn in some prisoners and with time your suspicion will go down so you can manage that in this way i forgot to pick up this earlier the very needed five clot for our crafts we want to immediately go and start crafting finally we can have the heavy armor we wanted it's gonna make our tank very very much more durable and oops i misclicked here but thankfully we got the good result now unfortunately we don't have enough for a second armor look at our destroyer he's finally looking good we can give the rags to another guy now we could craft this medium armor but it's not really worth it we'd rather craft a weapon if you have enough for two heavy armors do it but we don't in this instance so we're gonna go ahead and make a sword our swordsman can now pack a punch and we have some materials left over so let's go ahead and craft another shield you can use my anvil i can also repair your armor oh 
and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. If you happen to know one. So we can now sell the old stuff and use the repair function. Next up, we're gonna ask for some heals. We're gonna pay for some heals. Now, remember to buy the apple pancake. And we can get the money for the bounty we finished and look for some more work. Now, the refugee leader wants to see us. So we're gonna try and get something in that way, like Mount Altis Tower. It is right before the refugee camp. So now that we're crafted and healed and repaired, we have to take care of our food supply. We have zero food. So it doesn't really matter what kind of food. We need food like maybe for two, three days. In the beginning, three, four days is nice. So you can uh, explore freely. Now we have a lot of money. As you see, we bought a bunch of food and we still have 600. We're doing very well in this department. So I would say start stocking on apples apples are needed for the apple pancake so uh yeah we're gonna start saving them from now because you always run out of apples i'll tell you that much we will buy this grape because along with the mutton and some salt we can actually make mutton stew which is the strength of food it's very very good and we're going to get that recipe now be careful with this if you don't do it now and you do the corresponding scenario quest and you kind of choose the wrong side in this the npc that gives you that recipe will go away forever and you'll be screwed so make sure you have 10 wood because they're gonna ask for 10 wood now for those of you that chose to play with drone cards like me at this time now it's day six they're starting to be really pissed off that they don't drink so we're gonna buy some drinks to have we're not gonna feed them all they want just a little bit so they're not so pissed off okay so we're gonna take this road here southwest We're gonna cut off through here so this is the iron mine that we want to liberate let's go to this location real quick to show you should have probably li liberated the mine first but this is more important now so this is the pavi family they're asking you for help so the lady here is offering you the mutton stew like i mentioned for 10 wood so we absolutely want that can steal the actually should i steal this now yeah let's steal this key because we gotta work on our thief profession although we're gonna probably change this character but still we had zero suspicion so it's time to steal something okay now we're going straight back to the mine hopefully we got enough so we don't have to rest right before the fight fortunately not that's okay no We want to now give them one alcohol but still not three out of three the, the way they want it but it's still gonna be good enough to keep them in check and now we have a interaction here at the camp always get the aptitude points guys that's three levels three stats for a fighter very good on the free level we're gonna get one extra movement we have to mitigate a little bit the heavy armor she doesn't have heavy armor yet but as you can see now our destroyer is with nine speed that's very low we want to able to reach enemies right so we on the next level we're gonna get movement for this guy and we got six bandits and we got this completely unscratched i mean well we took like two three damage we're gonna get our iron here and she's now apprentice miner very good and look at this iron we got 30 iron 
That's very, very good. Stocky vegetarian. Thick skin club food. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we almost got attacked here by some bandits. Look at them. They're chasing so much. Go away. Five venison. Nice. I was actually looking for more cloth. Be nice to get. We're kind of back where we were before when we recruited Hackard. Now what we want to do is go up the mountain and meet with the refugee leader. So he's gonna ask us to help his woodcutters defend from the Tiltrin dudes. No, she has medicine. We want to spend our money on that. So now, what I want to do is show you how to use the pythons. We got attacked again. We don't want to fight you guys. Not now. Uh oh, I almost screwed up. Oh, they're so annoying. I don't want to fight you. I want to fight these guys because they're our bounty. Everything was going very well for us in the battle until this happened. So basically, he didn't move this turn. So the next turn, if he's not healed and he ends his turn, he'll die. So very, very unfortunate for us. We were winning this battle decisively i just overextended maybe a little bit with the ranger and and the archers they didn't miss once like there was two characters two enemy characters in front of mine but he still was able to hit me so in this situation your only option is to retreat and i'm playing an iron man so that's my only option you can restart the battle and you know do it better but in my situation there's no nothing to be done except for retreating so it's kind of unfortunate, but I'm glad it happened so I can actually show it in the video. This guy is expendable, but we have an option to actually survive this. Take a little financial loss. It's okay. And on top of everything, after we got out of this fight, the patrol, I don't know what they're doing top of the mountain, but they ended up next to us. When it rains, it pours, you know? So in this situation, I'm actually glad it happened so I can show it here in the walkthrough. So basically, we have stolen items, so they want to check us. And what we can do is return the stolen items, but we have the ornate key. So I want to keep that key. So in this case, I'm just going to pay for them to leave me alone. We're definitely not in a position to fight them. We're all injured, no armor. So it is what it is. So now we have these enemies too. We're in a very, very bad spot. I'm trying to camp here because we can't even run. So we have 20% chance to get ambushed. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. And not bad, not bad. We're surviving. And we want to move up here. We're going to use our python. And we want to make one more. And there you go. That's how you create your shortcuts. So next time, we don't have to go around and climb the mountain. So, so since we're close to the mine, let's see if we can, if the iron respond. And yeah, one of the veins has respond. So we will, we will grab that. We got a sapphire too. That's extra money. So we failed to do our bounty, but we'll come back for it. We need to go back to town to repair and heal. We got these three prisoners to get rid of first. So now we actually exceeded our carrying capacity because the prisoners were helping. So we have to spend some of our resources and maybe it's a good time to look at some of the camp upgrades we can make 
we have a bunch of uh, iron extra so we already have the mutton stew so it's not a bad idea to get our cooking pot this will use up eight of our iron so it's gonna help with our weight okay now what else can we make we can make a hitching post for our ponies And now with the hitching post, uh, our pony is actually giving us more carrying capacity. We're going to hold off on the camp chest. We have a little bit of points to spend. So the first upgrades we need to look at is the campfire. It's going to give us more happiness and we can burn a little wood to make coal which will also give us extra happiness we kind of need that because we have the drunk cards to deal with also the cooking pot the upgraded cooking pot uh, gives us chance to make better recipes so let's see we need 12 iron and six wood for this one for this one we need some sandstone we don't have that so there's no point in learning that for now i guess we'll go with the cooking pot upgrade although we're a little bit low on the wood let's see what we can craft first and then we'll maybe upgrade it time to go back to town oh, nice we got medicine on sale let's grab a couple we can start crafting it soon. I hope you will be more careful next time. Feel free to come back often. There's always folk looking to work around here, especially since all the fighting started across the border. We're gonna steal that recipe. Oh no. We're so unlucky when stealing. You can use my undex. A few dents here and there. Nothing more. There. Good as new. Alright, let's see what we can craft. Do we actually have some leftover materials? I think it's time to upgrade the weapon of our Axeman. So we're gonna learn some more recipes. And we need one more leather. We can buy that from, from the market. And our blacksmith is now experienced. We have enough iron to actually craft the studded mace and the spear. We're just missing leather that we can buy from the market and wood. So what we can do is just go north of town to the lumber mill and cut some. could also steal this one I think if we steal this one it's gonna be enough we really gotta be careful with the guard now let's learn more designs And awesome now everybody has an upgraded weapon all right guys this episode is quite lengthy <laughs> we've done a lot we had to deal with some real dicey situations um we almost lost a character and then the guard extorted us for money we're still doing good we have 270 crowns we got enough to pay wages twice we got food and most importantly we now have two spots where we can mine iron to further craft stuff and make money and our gear has improved substantially our fighter has uh, a weapon and a shield and a heavy armor our berserker got his weapon as well we got a drop dagger that is not bad for now but we'll craft a dagger as well as soon as 
our ranger becomes level 3. We have an armor for him. Our brute is also fully geared. And we got a weapon for our spearman. So all in all, very good progress. We managed to secure the apple pancake recipe along with the mutton stew. We got to choose still who's going to be our cook. We can start crafting these suits very soon, especially the mutton stew. And we have all the ingredients sold in this town. We got our first couple of camp upgrades. And yeah, things are looking very, very good for this group. We're going to try and recruit somebody. We're just waiting for somebody with better traits to pop up. We also have an option to recruit somebody temporarily for free in this region. Then maybe we'll go in the next episode. So yeah, you guys seem to like the first episode very much. I hope this one was good and helpful for you as well. Let me know in the comments again. Please like the video if you did. Don't forget, it really helps with the algorithm. And it also gives me an idea what kind of content you guys want to watch. Other than that, you can ask me anything in the comments. I try to reply to every single comment. And uh, I really enjoy doing so. Also subscribe for the channel because we'll be making a lot of more War Tales videos. Also Bannerlord videos and more content is planned for the future. But regardless of that, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Hex out.